Peace in Pan-Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters. Welcome back to King Said So. I am your host, Kakiso Tlongane, King, 053, Mr. Easy Imali Eneng Eneng. And we're back at it again with another one. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Thank you for everyone that has clicked the like button. Everyone that is engaging with, with myself, my soldiers who are engaging with me on the comment session. I appreciate it so much, soldiers. Continue to, to give me your thoughts on the comment section because I know. I know that I'm not the most clever person, I'm not the most informed person, but we try to do our research so that we can engage each other on facts and not opinions. So this time around, we're going all the way back to KwaZulu Natal, Tunkanda to be specific, where history has been made for Umkonto we Sizwe. What do I what do I mean about that? The first um Mkonto we Sizwe local branch or branch what branch whatever you call it the first branch has been uh, created and this um and this was a um, historical moment the first umkonto we branch has been launched today uh, which was yesterday uh, former anc msholozi branch ward 14 to be launched as mkanda mk msholozi branch um, President Cyril Ramaphosa, uh, President Zuma, <laughs> excuse me, has arrived to to do the official opening. Well, this is very interesting because the this specific branch, this uh, Ward 14, ANC in the past when Jacob Zuma was still the president of the ANC has lost this branch, uh, this ward specific ward to the IFP. There was a time where uh, uh, Jacob Zuma was being attacked and how can you say you want to rule South Africa but you can't even win the ward that you stay in. The people where you stay in, where you are from, don't believe in you. So this is what is happening now. Umsholozi, MK Umsholozi branch has now officially opened. But I want to zoom in on the, the little um, speech or the address that he had there because there's some, some things that he said there that I believe we can discuss. Let's, let's first quickly listen to um, the first short clip. I'm gonna, it's a, it's a, it's a six-minute clip that I cut into two minutes so that we can discuss the points um, uh, properly without clustering them in one uh, video. So let's listen to the first two minutes or three minutes or so, and then I'll come back to you guys with commentary. Hmm. <laughs> Ufanele ukuthi sivote ivote yona eyisikhali namhlanje eyovikela thina ivikela izukulwane zethu thina uma saphila kufanele sishintshe imithetho ezophatha abantu bakithi ngendlela efanele ezweni labo akekho umuntu osenzela lokho yenziwe lula le nto akushashi ukuthi thathi ikhali thathi ibhamba Hamba, we all vote out for Dele, the ANC. I do, I ANC, sorry. Umkonto, Uguzukulule, Izwe. Umonga vote, Ushugutu Pisa, Ispalo, Sempi again. One is Angali. He shot Kula, Felicim Twan. Similarly said to the Gumsit Balala, a bad hotel, our hotel, um, called to see Umasu in need. Send them a buzang bear. Go Shinja Pong. I get come down at a seven to South Africa. Go by my family. This is Cathy. Ungato zo tolu msebe zifano suga lo suga nge maani Hii ni fame singa ili itila Kekube kwa nabandu zozo amba nge nyawe kisene ae fame ina pinda buyeze kaa Mwakupeli kwa fins katso kuhola Aholi mani jio na ikai nga biko ne jio ebu transport Eki we msebe zin Jalonja do nendi wako mnyumuzi Tegu ino wako mnyumuzi la No 
Asikisizwe zina leo ndo. Ithi kuphela bamnyambo. Ono umuzi la inkanga, nomuzi ethekwe nase gold. Imali ncane kufanele ukuthi ukhokhe, uphinde ukhokhela. Umanje futhi sekoba ngibona umanje ngoba sokuya anje kubuya ngama weekend. Kuqala ubabe besabuya kanye ngonyaka. Bokufanele ukuthi ngane makungenuyise. Ingamazi sikali sihlaka nibili bale ukuthi mama na inunu inunu wathi no ubaba ingane ibi lokhu icasha ngayi no inunu ma inunu lokhu ethu wathi no ubaba hayi lo abelu ngibona uma ungena ingane omlungu ibele tedi tedi ikhiji muye kuyo ngoba hlala bonke ndawonye ayiphelele iyenzeka ukuthi uphela le ntoba kwethu shendampela I think the 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 fun funny uh, takeaway uh, moment from that first clip I just played you is him making a mistake saying we must vote for the ANC and then he changes the sesum conto. It's it's a um, uh, honest uh, honest mistake that a person would make after spending you know more than sixty years in the struggle party of the ANC. I mean, the ANC is all this man knew for a majority of his life. So that mistake is a is an honest mistake that he made there. But I want to speak about him saying, when when uh, you vote for Mkonto Wesizo, everything is going to change. This is what Jacob Zuma, because we want to look into the policy of Mkonto Wesizo, of which I think they are very much busy dra drafting it down so that when they announce their, their, their leadership, they can come with us with a policy so that we know, excuse me, then we know exactly what is it that we are, we are uh, what you call, voting for. What is the policy stance of the um, controversies when it comes to unemployment. And he touches that. He says, listen, why is it that you must go and work far? We can bring the factories to you so that you don't have to travel far. And this thing has been disturbing the, the family structure of black people. I take that, that thing very serious because um, when you are a father and you are missing serious, crucial uh, moments of the the growth of your children you will never have those times back you understand we some of us we are lucky enough to see our children grow in front of our eyes but then i will have uh, sometimes in the in the in in the year where i'm very busy i'm traveling and you find that i'm gone sometimes six to eight weeks uh, without coming back, you're missing crucial things as a parent, especially as a father, because a uh, fatherless household, we know that they produce stats that are not very favorable to our children. You understand what I'm saying? So now we have something to hold them uh, accountable to. To say them, you said you will bring the factories here and everyone will work. Is that possible? It is remains to, to be seen. I say with all the with all the minerals that we have under underneath our ground south africa should not have someone who is seeking for work and is unable to get it to be honest especially the low level um labors you know your administration your um your your physical labor in terms of construction and uh, the likes all of those things working in a, in a factory line and all of that, should you want the job, it should be there available to assist you in terms of the growth of the, uh, your family. And of course, he's making jokes with that thing with um, the white father and the black father. But it's a joke, but it's a serious thing because that thing is still happening even now. People are traveling to Houting to go and work there and come back once a month, one, um, once a year once twice a year only when funerals occurs and all that that thing is destroying the family structure people don't know how serious that is you might have said it as a joke but for me because i was staying in Mpumalanga and my father was working in jimston pretoria uh, jo uh, jo johannesburg um we saw him only on weekends and because my father then passed away when i was still young you can imagine all the time that we missed we missed uh, to have our fathers. That thing, it does have an impact. It does have an impact. I see it my, in my younger siblings, those who come after me. I can see it to them that these people actually need a father figure in their life. But anyway, let's listen to the second clip and I'll come back with more commentary. <laughs> You're not going to be able to start this in the moment. No, 
Asibaki pelaba. Aga tebeti ba meletina. Abasinagi, abana ndabanaki, abakulume nati, benze zabizi ndonzi. Ereso zikati lombuto, uyesha. Abandubata saufuni. Sizo chalela anige guu. Sizo yegela anuguti, silugi se izo, sali luela. Inako kete, sifuzu mkonde we sizo. Yuwana age manje, uzo zifiger. Ukongolos, ege simfote, loktua, u ANC. Gishi ilo lonto mangu memezer. Ege simfote, sifuna bonka manja bakona, naba nga malu nga wafotele, MP Ukuze su kipe Siba kipe laba Siba kipe Bese skata bonga mandube Tumeze latin Siso iti saite Elgu tisenza anige Nga mfoko loko Iti laba Siyezo ane Amala Of course In In Launching this First official branch Of The branch of Mkonto we siso he then says, do not vote for the ANC. You have failed. Um, you have failed. Um, the ANC has failed you guys so much. The ANC is no longer considering you guys. The ANC does not look at you. The ANC does not listen to you. The ANC does not talk to you. So we cannot vote for this, um, this ANC. You know, the, t the time will come. The time will come when we have to really speak about... Um, a, where, where I really have to break down these nine wasted years, these so-called nine wasted years, and analyze it properly into the, the things that Jacob Zuma did that people did not realize that he did and that were very good. And the things that he did that was bad and people did not realize how bad those things were and now those things are trickling in. Because I believe um, um, uh, Jacob Zuma is somewhat of a dictator. And a dictator is something that actually South Africa needs. It's not only bad. People, when they hear dictator, they think um, it's all bad. You, a person that does, does not listen to people and all of that. No, dictate is just you dictating the direction of the ship and taking full responsibility for anything that goes wrong. As a dictator, that's what you must do. So because you believe you're going to take the, the responsibility for anything that goes wrong, you want to dictate that everything must go right as a dictator. And sometimes it will not be favorable to most people, but it will benefit. It will benefit the country at large. So I, I kind of like that about um, the Jacob Zuma. So he says also, he doesn't know what is going to happen if we fail now. He, he says, if Ningashulega Manji, Ningashulega Manji to, to elect Mkonto and re-elect these people, I don't know what is it that you people will be wanting. And that's the question that is in our minds as analysts that we are looking at this thing. With it. What are South Africans going to do? How deep is this poverty and this uh, uh, dependent mentality to the ANC? How deep is our... Um, um, uh, I want to say, how deep is our lack of political education in the communities? How clueless are our people in, as to the current affairs that are happening? I'm very interested to see the direction that our people are going to vote. I'm very interested. I want to see. I really hope the IEC is going to be free and fair and transparent and all of that so that no party will complain about rigging and all that. And then I see the, the results. And for example, if the ANC win, it will tell me where our political education is as, as, a, as a nation. You understand? Because sometimes you think you are right when you are wrong. So we will think, yeah, the ANC is doing bad, 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 bad. But if indeed they've got people that are voting for them, then who actually is in the right or the wrong? Because it's a democracy that we are living in. So he's saying, if you refuse to take these people out, because uh, we have made it easy. Now you don't have to pick up a physical gun, a physical umkonto. You can go and change the direction of the country by just crossing there putting your cross, putting your X, your X marks the spot. So I'm very, 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 I'm very keen to, to find out how our South African uh, citizens are going to vote. Let's listen to the last clip and I'll do it. Jesus, hallelujah. In our pockets, 
Sifuzi mkonde wa sisu. Yuwana ake manje. Uzo zifiger. Ukongo losi. Ege si mfote. Loktua. <coughs> UNC. Gishi ilo lonto mangu memezer. Ege si mfote. Sifuna bonka manja bakona. Naba nga malu nga wafotele. MP. MP. Ukuze su kipe. Sipa kipe laba. Sipa kipe besi skata bonka manja betubeze latin. Siso iti saite elu kutisenza anige na mfoko loko. Iti lafu. Si yes, one. Yeah. 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 Yo shongiti no. Kwa kwa tumabe nga shule kwa kwa zinginda. Kwa kwa nga shule gila. Please. Sia fumela. Ito kefune gayo. Wonku muntu aga richi iste. Wonku muntu galelo langa. Aba na imoto. Nga nifunu petrol kwa nga nusu nitenga. Nipela zbegi tramlu. Kwa kwa nipa tuta bantu kuze kwa upe. Yeah. Kuna bikuwa na mundo zoti no Kwa kufunga madola Kwa za angu mama no. Wonke umundo Wonke umundo Kutse mwapa na mgobe gila Pena mgobe gila Lonchonchi mwoto za lezi nsisu Noma uwe zika hulmeni Kita kende kentule mafana Kende o kama nzo tuge Kita kime lani mati Kwa Ya bonga kwa kwetu Bonga kakulu kuti Sikuwa zilu kwa sivela Kama nye makama nye tembu kuti Sisuili kutu kwa mba kanjana Nukusupe kwa kwetu Ogula kwa kala kutala Asiku kedeni manji Itu wale itu Abasha na banyana Mkonto wa siswe Mkonto wa siswe Sine shula kanjana Sipetu mkonto Bonke Abana abayo vote Abapete nshindu huku Tina spetu mkonjo Tina shuleka kanjani Oba kwa Sia zoani Sia bo Sia bo Umshine wa 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 what i have taken away there is just one sentence that he said we have suffered enough we are going to make sure that everyone gets transport to go to to the voting stations even if we have to steal cars we have to steal cars of these people of, of government we're going to put petrol in it so that people can move and that's another thing that people don't understand there's some other people that just can't go and vote because of lack of transport remember the political hunger is not in them so voting or not voting doesn't make a difference so they look for an excuse for not to go to the polls. The first excuse is that there is no transport. So when you provide transport, you're going to make you're going to make it easy for those for those particular people, whether old, disabled, or whatever, to go and vote. That's a very important thing. Political parties need to look deep into this. But anyway, the first official controversies of branch has been launched in Gaza very interesting what 14 let's see how many other branches are going to be officially launched in south africa i'm very interested to seeing the growth of mkonto so they need this uh, political structure especially on local level they need these uh, branches um so that 
it can, we can have direction in terms of leadership. Not everyone just running around like headless chickens. So you guys tell me what do you think about this on the comment section. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Leave your thoughts on the comment section. Click the, the, the like button. Hit the bell icon so that you can stay informed on anything that is happening in the South African politics this coming year is going to be hot. Thank you so much, guys. Until we meet next time, don't forget to pray. And after you pray, stand up, African child. Do your best so that God can do the rest. I salute you.